Boom. Peace. Intro. What's up, guys? Yeah, I put that video out yesterday. Um, I'll get in the comments and answer them here in a little bit. Sorry I haven't answered any comments yet, but I will. I got a custom done for Mr. Alex Long I'm going to show. But I went today and I actually found some cars, guys. It's amazing. There was some out. I was a little late to the party, but I did find some that I didn't have. I'm sure most of you guys have seen them, but anyway, we'll go through them real quick. Um, I, I grabbed another NASCAR. I, I get them every now and then, but this one is a Snickers Peanut Butter Brownie. I did not have this car. I don't get every NASCAR. I just get ones that I think are cool looking. And uh, I thought that one was pretty cool. So anyway, I grabbed that. And I don't get all color shifters, but I grab ones I think are okay. And this one said Biohazard on the side, and it's got the little symbol there. Mitsubishi Lancer Evo. I don't really care for JDM so much, but I thought that was a pretty cool little color shifter. And then I got the armored truck, because I couldn't remember if I had it or not. And I don't think I do. So, and since it's an armored truck, went ahead and grabbed it. I'm not sure what color it's going to turn to. Red, I guess. I don't ever take them out. And then I found a couple ground pounders. I haven't gotten any of these in a while, but look at that baby. 57 Chevy Nomad sweet looking too it's got a black hood on it front is nice now i noticed well you got to watch them as well a lot of times the m2s that come in these little cases are in a lot better shape but sometimes you'll still find something wrong with them but uh it's pretty nice i wanted to get i was going to grab an extra one for my buddy but um they didn't have one of these this is the only one they had look at that turbo fire 283 i mean pretty sweet little car and uh, so i grabbed it and then this one i really love they did have another one of these i was going to get it for them but the front wheel the tire was ripped look at that baby is that not awesome 58 Plymouth Fury. Look at that baby. Man. And I looked her over. She looked pretty darn good. Oops. And I actually had the second one. I was going to get it from my buddy. Um, or one of our buddies anyway. And, uh, front tire was actually ripped I was like dang it which sometimes I've noticed that happens I don't know if it's the cold weather to the hot weather or what but I've even had some of mine um, I'll come down and all of a sudden uh, a tire will be cracked right off my hot wheel one of my customs or something and I'm like what in the world happened just busted right off of it I was kind of worried about that happening to my uh custom trucks I just sent out so hopefully that doesn't happen um, but I got those and then we'll just buzz through these cars real quick everybody's already got them I'm sure but I found the new matchbox that baby looked pretty sweet the Mazda Miata I was like that's pretty cool so I grabbed one then this little thing worn parts delivery Mainly just got it because it says worn on it. It's about an ugly little thing. And um, I found some stars and stripes. I think Alex Long asked me about this set a while back. I didn't know it was even out. But I found a few of them. All there was was, I, I guess, I'm not sure how many there are. Maybe eight? I guess there's eight. So I found um, the Mustang. Eh, not super impressed, but it's part of the set. I like this one the best so far, Ranchero. And, uh, 
grabbed it. And then the Corvette, 84 Corvette, which never did like the Corvettes in the 80s. And um, this thing is ugly as heck, muscle speeder. But I grabbed it because it was part of it. That's the only four I had. When I used to walk home from school back in the seventh grade, I would walk past this car lot that had a uh, 64 Corvette sitting there. I loved that thing. And, um, you know, I it, you know, always think, yeah, I'm going to get one of those. I never did. But uh, then I found this baby. Ford Focus. Again, these are the kind of cars I'd not... I don't really care about and I said I was going to thin out and quit getting ones I don't absolutely love and look at me I grabbed them anyway because they just look cool I grabbed the Mazda Repu I could I I like it but I could do without it but I grabbed it anyway see I think this is going to be an addiction it's going to be easier to say I'm going to stop buying them but I'm not going to be able to tuned Volkswagen I got a lot of Ryu Asada today I was surprised I didn't have this one. Got it. Um, I got that new Jeep. I got a couple extra for customs because there'll be more people want some more of the custom ones. Plus, I got cop ones I ain't even done yet. And uh, but um, I grabbed an extra. I grabbed one for me to have for my collection. I like that color green. It's awesome. And I got this one. I didn't have the Asada. Like I said, guys, we've had nothing around here. What case is this? B. Yeah, I've had nothing. Um, actually, Diecast Clown asked me if I was missing anything from B case and needed any of it because he just ordered a case. And I said, I think I got everything. But no, I sure didn't. Um, like I said, we've had nothing around here, guys. Nothing. And, you know, I know you guys know. You, a lot of you have the same situation. And... Um, I guess it's a mixture of B and C. I've and because I found this one too, which is a C case, pretty sure. Yeah, and uh, Ford Mustang Mach E 400, crazy looking. You know, it was last year sometime. I drove up and I seen one of these things, and I was like, "What in the world is on the road? A real one?" I didn't look as elaborate as this, but I was like, "What in the heck is that thing? How is that a Mustang?" Well, yeah, that's just crazy, ain't it? I wonder if it's a screamer. Does it, does it haul ass or what? I don't know. I don't know. Sure went and put the ugliness on it, though, didn't I? Then I found the um, Ferrari F1 GTR. I know, it's McLaren. I got to get rapid every chance I get, you know? I don't. He must not have watched my last video very long because he didn't catch the... Uh, Ferrari McLaren thing surely he would have said something now I know a lot of people probably like that color I think it's putrid I don't like that color at all and then I grabbed the Hummer because I always do but I believe that's just a plastic car I don't believe there's any yeah it is that's all plastic there ain't nothing the base is metal is it but I just grab all Hummers um, don't care I grab them period at least one and uh then I found this ugly thing and I grabbed one. I don't know what the treasure hunt is in this case, but um, this is C case. But that thing is just dog ugly, ain't it? But it's a Dodge Dart. 68 Dodge Dart, so I grabbed one. There were several. I only grabbed one. Then I found this Super. Oh, just kidding. I found this thing. Um, that's pretty cool. I did grab a, a, a couple extra of a lot of these things because my Hot Wheel Collecting Amigo, I'm not sure if he's found any of these yet. So um, I grabbed them in case he needed them. And I found a Volkswagen Beetle. Did not have it. What case is that? Let's see. I thought it was pretty cool looking with the wood grain and the wheels actually don't look bad. I mean, it's a pretty cool looking bug. Not bad at all. And uh, then I found the, uh, another Ryu Asada, the Nissan um, uh, R390. It's not bad. I mean, it's detailed front and back. 
I don't think the car looks that awesome. Matter of fact, I was going to do a custom of one a while back when I done those Porsche. But I like those Porsche way better. That 993, I believe it was, GT2, they're just perfect Porsche. Perfect for doing customs. Which I still got to do a few for uh, people that ordered the Mountain Dew. This one. Oh, and this one right here. It's just, it's just got the right look. I put my spoiler on the front and all, and I mean, it just comes out so cool, I think. But I still gotta get those customs done. And uh, four more here, guys, and then we'll get to the custom for Alex Long. Um, I found another Rio Asada, the Bugatti, 94 Bugatti. It's pretty cool, not bad. Again, guys, I could do without a lot of these cars, too. I mean, I don't, I just don't know. It's, it's going to be hard to just not get them. Then this 57 Chevy. Um, I grabbed it because it's a 57 Chevy. Cards messed up. and uh, But it was the only one there. And um, I think that thing is just ugly as can be. The wheels are ugly. The tampos are ugly. Oh, it's just ugly. But it's a 57 Chevy. So I grabbed it. And then I got this baby. The Cosworth. Another Ryo Asada. Not too bad. Pretty cool. And uh, last one is the 16 Cadillac. I think I'm going to end up doing some customs of that. And uh, I think it looks pretty cool. I don't know. I'll change the livery up on them. And uh, seems like that. Let's see, I've done the Bentley. I wonder if I did. This almost seems like that cat. I, I wonder if I did a Cadillac. Nah, I don't think I've done a Cadillac. But I'll probably do a custom of that or so. So now, I'm going to pause you for a second while I move this stuff out of the way. Alright, I'm back guys. Now we will unveil the drag bus I did for Mr. Alex Long. I hope you guys like it. This thing, I, 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 I love it. I... I hate to give it away, but it wasn't mine. He actually sent it to me. But as you guys know, once I say I'm building one for somebody, I can't go back on it. Um, and there's been several times I wanted to. <laughs> because they just come out so cool. Some of them, you know. But anyway, this one I changed up a lot because there's just not much you can do to a drag bus. So I changed a lot of it. Are you ready? Here we go. Check that out. I think that looks awesome. Now I know I'm tooting my own horn, but I took the windshield out of it so that you could see inside of it. And it's not showing so well through the camera, I don't think. Yeah, you can't really see so well through the camera. But when you're here, you can see inside of it. Of course, I chopped the hood out. Put an engine in it. And, uh, of course, she rolls like a dream. There's what she looks like on the side. I done bombs away. Check out the back of this baby, Alex. Oops, let me scoot her back over here. Notice anything there? Got your name on it, buddy. That's thanks to WW Replicas. He sent me decals. Put wheelie bars on her. They don't come off, buddy. There's the other side. This is the one I built my own headers for. There's that in front of it. Our grandkids are out back, so y'all can hear them. I put a two-tone on her. 
and you know I, I glossed it afterwards but I want to say I painted this flat black and flat camo green and it looked so awesome in the flat color I really wanted to leave it but the, and I got the decals to lay pretty darn smooth which is hard to do on a flat paint without leaving some kind of residue under it and um, which you can still lightly see some residue there because without a little coat of clear first to smooth it out it's really hard to lay decals on flat paint but it came out pretty darn good I almost left it because I like the flat look but I don't want the decals to start flaking off so and you know people say well shoot it with matte a matte finish doesn't doesn't look like flat black or flat it, it isn't flat and um, so it'd still be some kind of shine to it so since I'm doing that I just glossed it and uh, she looks pretty good now the only thing is this does not tilt up now because it'll hit the engine see so I've made it removable you just be very careful I glued the clip in there so it clips to the front I cut the windshield out of it we'll set that off to the side over here and then there's your engine with my headers I took an engine what, what engine do you think that is guys and I cut the top off of the jet engine this ugly thing it just looks so stupid up there on top of that it just looks dumb so I cut it off and I kept the jet engine on the bottom with its exhaust because that's it this is where the jet propulsion comes blowing out of it and then I put a massive engine on top of it and it needed some exhaust so I made some headers as you see there seat belt had to put the woodpecker on the front detailed up the front of the engine header on this side those headers I thought were going to be harder to make than they were and the only thing I noticed was I got one of them a little low right there one of my pipes and if I if I just but it's real small it's smaller than it looks got you a shifter in there and uh It just barely clears the the body, so you got to be careful putting the body on. And, uh, of course, I just painted the engine up, detailed it the way I wanted to. And uh, so what do you think that engine came off of, guys? I'm sure you could figure it out. I bought a few more of them just to take the engine off of. Just certain things it looks great on. And let's see if we can lift it up. I did the bottom. And of course all the engine and all screws back together. So it's got to find a way to ship it to him because it doesn't mount the same. I don't want it coming apart and getting messed up. So I'll probably wire tie these wheels down. And I'll probably wire tie right here since the hood sits on that part anyway. And that'll hold this. But this body I'm kind of worried about. And there's what the top of the body looks like. Let me try to get where you can see. I put my logo on the back. And it's got the chickadee riding the bomb on the front with the sights and like I said thanks to WW replicas you got your name there buddy I'm so close probably doesn't want to focus there you go so now you just gently Put her back on there. Pop her on. There she is. I changed the front wheels because them wheels that come on that thing are just hideous. I mean, 
they're them, you know, them Captain America targets or whatever. I mean, all you can really do is maybe paint them, but even then, that still looks stupid. Um, so I took them off. I don't have any use for them whatsoever. I'll probably just save the rubber for something. And, uh, yeah, here's actually one of them wheels I was talking about. See where it split? Boom. It just came down and it was just popped off one of my cars. I was like, what the world? But anyway, I think those wheels look better on the front of it anyway. So anyway, buddy, let me know what you think. Let me know what y'all think. I think that drag bus should have came this way from Hot Wheels. That looked awesome. But like I said, it will not tilt up anymore. Yes, I could have made it tilt up, but I'd have had to cut out a lot of this so it would clear. See, I would have had to come over a little, go up, round it right there, go across, round it right there. You know, cut this, basically this profile into this. So when you lift it up, it cleared all that. Well, I didn't want to do that and have a big old gaping hole up here when the thing's sitting in this position. So I didn't. I just made it where you got to lift it off. You just got to take the body off if you want to show the inside. But yeah, you see there? You can see in there if um, without the windshield. With the windshield in there, you couldn't see nothing. So I took the windshield and cut it off. And, uh, whoops, whoops, go back down, buddy. There you go. So, hope you like it, buddy. I got to finish the other ones I'm working on. I still got the meat bucha and Grandpa Larry to do. Now, theirs aren't near as elaborate as this. Yes, I did throw an engine on it. Nothing like that. But, um, no wheelie bars or nothing. Just, uh, kind of, just cool looking little truck, basically. We'll see. I'll show you when I get them done. And, uh, the two-tone paint job is a little tricky for me, but I think she came out okay. And, uh, I just like to, I know that Volkswagens aren't usually painted like that, but I like that theme. I like how it comes down, grabs the front of that, and then this line's there. And on the drag bus, it has this, this lower riveted piece. Well, I, I did that as well. I just thought it would look better that way. And I like the mean look of the eye. Sometimes the eye that they put on there is it's kind of weird looking. It isn't mean looking at all. But anyway, I think she came out pretty cool. I really like it. And uh, I don't even want to give it away. But that's what happens when you make stuff for people. And the good thing about it is that person will probably like it just as much as you do. And um, so, and it was never mine in the first place. He sent me this car. So, you know, I'm glad it came out. You can't just be happy to give away one that didn't, you know, well, I can't say it didn't come out right because I don't I don't like to get rid of them if they don't come out right. <laughs> so anyway, I think she looks pretty cool. You guys let me know what you think and especially you, Mr. Long. Hope you like her. I'll find a way to get her shipped to you. I have a feeling this body's gonna have to be um sent wrapped in cotton or something like that. So it's probably gonna be a week or so before I even ship that because I want that clear to harden really good because uh, I do not want it to get messed up in shipping and and it will there's nothing you can wrap them in guys I've seen a lot of people think you can wrap them in something it will not work it will come and there will be marks in that clear this thing is glass I mean it is look at that it is flawless I don't want to send it to you and it end up not flawless because it it wasn't protected correctly so I will find a way to get her shipped to you. I tried to do the tail lights. I chromed the bezel and I put a little reverse light in it. Put your parachutes with your pole lines. 
I don't know, I think she came out pretty cool. I almost didn't do wheelie bars, but I think it needed them. I think it really looks cool with the wheelie bars. And this is a unique one. Um, if I ever made another one of these guys, it's a chore. That's probably a $100 car for sure if I ever had to make another one. It is a chore. You can't, it doesn't just go together like you think. And cutting that notch in there, getting it exact and precise like that, is a little bit of work as well. So yeah, this would definitely be um, a chore. But so far, this is a one-off. It's the only one I've done. I don't have any drag buses to do. So, and it's a freebie. It's going to Mr. Long. And, uh, um, it's really that simple. Um, nothing else I could say. I actually, I still have a General Lee I'm doing for him for free. My suggestion. Um, just kind of, because he gave me all them other super cool General Lees and, I don't know if you guys know it or not, but that one Zinger General Lee, you can't get that thing probably $100. Um, this baby right here. Let me scoot this over. That, he gave me that. You you can't get, if you find that and it's still carded at all, that's probably 100 bucks. You just can't get it. And uh, he just gave it to me, as well as a few others. And uh, I love zingers. I know a lot of people don't, but I do. And um, to, to have a General Lee zinger, shoot, that was awesome. And uh, so, like I said, the least I could do is give him one of my General Lees. And uh, this one he actually wanted to pay me to do. And uh, But I told him, you know, I'll do that, man. It's no problem because, you know, he gave me an RLC and another car. Plus, it gives him a, um, I hate when I, you get a fingerprint on there and it makes it look like the paint's messed up. That's why I said, I don't want this going anywhere until it's cured real good. So anyway, it was the least I could do, you know. Of course, he still wants to pay me something to do it, but, you know, whatever. Anyway, guys, hope you like it. I think it came out pretty darn cool. I love it. I mean, I'm really glad I decided to put that engine in. And this is actually the one I told you I started on, but I stopped. And I did my channel trucks because I just came to a block and I couldn't figure out exactly what to do. I hated the engine that was in it. I didn't, I was like, I cannot use that engine. I just can't do it. And, um, and then it, it hit me. I looked over to the side. And I'm going to show you guys. I seen this. And I said, I'm going to, I'm going to. I'm going to take this engine out of here and put it in there. Looks like my grandkids are, I got almost every one of them today. Uh, Allie, we were playing a game and Allie decided to be on our team and Chase was like, get her back! <laughs> and now he's getting smirking and snarking uh, it saying he's going to kill us. Yeah, it's always something, man. So anyway, I, I took that engine on there. I guess my grandson's having a fit. You know, one boy, the rest are girls. Probably not going in his favor. Um, but anyway, I'm glad I decided to put that engine in there, and that's where it came from, guys. And I actually got a few more of these cars just so I could steal the engine off of it. And I'll keep these wheels and tires because they'll work on certain things too. I was actually going to throw them on the back of this. It would have required some modifying to make it happen. But uh, I, I don't think they looked good. I don't mind the tire, but I don't think that the wheels, and t the wheels looked good on that drag bus. So I did not do that. But they'll work on something in the future. And... Uh, when you think about it like that, buying those muscle machines for $4 a car and using the parts off of them, and that's what's cool about them is everything unscrews on them, man. I could I, These pipes, I almost took them off and mounted them on the side. Cut those off and mounted these pipes on there because I just thought they would have looked super cool. But I had so much time already in this car, and those pipes, it, they help hold the body up if, if this jet engine isn't there. And I thought about removing that, so I was afraid, you know, but so I didn't. But anyway, those are parts that can be used. 
there, there's tons of parts on here that you could use if you wanted to. And you just can't beat that for $4. That engine, go buy a 3D printed engine. How much is it going to cost for somebody to send that to you? And I don't, want, I don't use 3D printed parts. I try to build everything by hand or take it off another vehicle. Not that I wouldn't buy a few 3D printed engines sometime or something, but I just never have. And like I said, those headers, I think I could get 3D printed headers, but um, I think that uh, I think those came out pretty darn good. And uh, you know, they, they probably took about 20 minutes a piece to build. I actually, I bend a bunch of these I leave them long on that side and I get them all the same length on this side and I lay them down. I get them in a row and I space them out the spacing I want. And then I'll cut this piece and I'll get them all stabbed in there and glued. And then I cut this in a straight line so I can glue that plate on there. And then it's done. Stick it to the side, paint them and uh, so on same thing on the other side so i think they actually came out pretty cool so but i mean sure it'd been cool if this still tilted up like that but it don't you know i don't want it i don't want to chop it out anyway guys here i am rambling again hope you like it buddy hope you like it alex and i'll figure out a way to get her sent to you Y'all take it easy. Peace. Outro.